I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota, and I'm glad to have you watch this devotion this morning, and I pray that it will be helpful to you on some level. We're continuing our study through the book of Proverbs, and we begin chapter 6 this morning, a very practical passage of scripture about caring for one's own personal affairs. And Proverbs chapter 6, verse 1 says, My son, if thou be surety for thy friend, if thou hast stricken thy hand with a stranger, thou art snared with the words of thy mouth, thou art taken with the words of thy mouth, do this now, my son, and deliver thyself when thou art come into the hand of thy friend. Go, humble thyself, and make sure thy friend. Give not sleep to thine eyes, nor slumber to thine eyelids. Deliver thyself as a robe from the hand of the hunter, and as a bird from the hand of the fowler. Go to the ant, thou sluggard. Consider her ways, and be wise. And this is Proverbs chapter 6, verses 1 through 6. And it deals with diligence in one's own personal affairs. He speaks, first of all, about being surety for thy friend. And we think of this as being a cosigner on a note. And he says, you, just, you be very careful about this and don't obligate yourself to somebody else's bad decisions. And then he speaks about laziness. But the whole issue for all of these verses is to be diligent about your personal matters. And this would be industriousness and taking initiative versus being slothful or lazy in one's own personal affairs. And it's very important that we be diligent with such things. And God gives us a certain amount of influence and he gives us all a certain level of stewardship that we're responsible for. And we should be very careful that we use that stewardship and attend to it properly and not be slothful and not be negligent in the way that it's managed, in the way that it's handled. This is especially true in our being in a position to be able to support the work of the Lord, to give as we ought to give, to support missions, to tithe and give offerings to our through our church for the work of the Lord, for the work of the ministry, and a lot of people find themselves in a real serious bind and they would say that they just can't afford to give. This becomes largely a matter of faith, but some of it has to do with diligence versus negligence in handling one's personal affairs. What a blessing it is to be able to give when there's a need. What a blessing it is to be able to contribute if there is a special need that somebody has, even just to be able to give personally uh, assistance to someone who has a need. And this would often be the result of a person being diligent and being blessed in their personal matters, especially in their finances, versus being always in a state of need because of, sometimes because of neglect. God help us to be diligent and to be good stewards of what God places in our hands and to be good managers of the opportunities that we have. It's important, you know, the, the Bible says in Proverbs, I think it's, uh, excuse me, Psalms, I think it's Psalm 41 that says, blessed is he that, that um, considereth the poor. It's a blessing to be able to give to others who have a need when there is a need. And God looks kindly on that sort of benevolence and it, it's good when we have properly managed our affairs so that we're able to give to others so that we have a little extra. And the Lord will bless that, certainly. You be kind and be open-handed and open-hearted with your affairs, and the Lord will bless you for it. God bless you today.